drives you to, to give back to a small festival like the Julian Dubuque International Film Festival to come here and, and sort of provide motivation for other filmmakers? Well, one of the biggest motivating factors is it's in Iowa. Um, and uh, I was connected through a, uh, a dear friend of mine, Brandon Cox, uh, excellent, excellent cinematography, cinematographer that my wife and I worked with uh, you know, many years ago. It's, it's great to be able to, to represent Iowa and through a connected friend. And also to, you know, I've been to several independent uh, art festivals uh, throughout my experience, um, usually or almost always as uh, an entrant with something in a competition, so it's cool to, to come and not have pressure. When you're doing roles for film and roles for like doing voiceover, doing animation, is there a difference in that process? Is there one that you enjoy or have more fun with? Uh, there are certainly differences between uh, VO animation or uh, voiceover work and film and television work, and they all have wonderful qualities, uh, positives about them. Uh, as to which I prefer, I, I prefer, you know, whatever it is, if it's comedy, I prefer it usually or has a light spirit to it and I can be, you know, don't have to be angry or upset uh, very often. That's what I like. Make people laugh and make this, the crew laugh. Um, and you get to do that with VO usually because the VO stuff I've done is usually just, you know, being a ridiculous character. So that's a lot of fun. Any advice you can give to young filmmakers or actors, directors, producers yeah. uh, that are coming up and haven't quite sure. gotten their break yet? You know, I don't know if I can give uh, advice to film filmmakers necessarily, since I am a mostly an actor. Although I have, uh, I do dabble in producing and be getting into that, um, you know, uh, more in the next coming years. But um, I think the biggest thing about film and television and theater and all of the creative arts, but specifically film, since we're here, is its ability to tell stories that influence society for the better because uh, we are more open and accepting of all uh, types of humanity um, and that's what the world needs so coming and celebrating film and creative uh, people is part of the life journey I guess you know I do that through making film all the time but uh, to be here in the place where people are you know sharing their their um, their 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 creations is great what's next for you or what what do you hope for for film in general, or society, we can go bigger. <laughs> I hope, what do I hope for for my for my career, for film in general, and also for society? Absolutely, uh, the universe. We'll put in there too. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're asking a guy who has a lot of thoughts about that. There's not enough time for everybody to everybody needs seats for that. Um, maybe I'll make a documentary about it soon. Um, you know, I think I think that uh, combining all those three things, the future of my career, cinema, and, and, and society, they're all intertwined in many ways. A lot of productions lately, both film and television, kind of pushing the boundaries, the boundaries of thought, the boundaries of what life is about, the boundaries of acceptance, just showing, you know, people being in love and people being happy, I think is a wonderful thing. There are, I think Barbie is an excellent, fantastic movie. Oppenheimer, yes, technically, just like, yeah, it's, I mean, that's, it's excellent. There's, there's no doubt. But Barbie was transcendent because it wasn't just about a historical thing. It was like, you know what, they're actually kind of polar opposites. They're like, this is the darkness of humanity or the, the, our anchor. And then Barbie is like, hey, look at, if you're looking, that movie has levels, everybody. Tell us what it's like to be back in Iowa. It's great to be back uh, in Iowa every time I come home. Um, it's, uh, it's one of my favorite places to be, uh, certainly because I have a lot of family here, but I also have a lot of memories, of course. Um, and, uh, you know, it's really awesome to come back to places like Dubuque, which is, this is only my second time. Uh, I was here just about a year and a half ago for, for a, a friend's, old friend's wedding, which was awesome. So I kind of knew what I was getting into. That was good. Thanks. Thanks, Matt. Um, and Amber. So, um, yeah, it's great to be here, and uh, you know, my son I is with me, and my parents uh, drove up from Des Moines. You know, this is a really cool thing to be able to celebrate uh, film and uh, independent film, especially, which is, uh, you know, is always kind of pushing the, moving the needle uh, on on what we can do creatively in many ways.